Members of the princely family of Liechtenstein open an exhibition in Vienna. King Felipe VI and Queen Letizia of Spain preside over another award ceremony in Alicante. Prince Albert II and Princess Charlene of Monaco open a new nursery and daycare center in St. Roman. And Crown Prince Håkon and Crown Princess Metemarit of Norway begin their official visit to England. All this and much more coming up next on your Royal Daily News. Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to my channel. My name is Alexandra, and this is your Royal Daily News for March 1st, 2023. In London, their royal highnesses Crown Prince Håkon and Crown Princess Metemarit of Norway began their official two-day working visit to England. According to the Norwegian Royal Court, the purpose of the visit is to promote cooperation, especially the green industrial transition and innovation, to expand cooperation on energy, and to promote Norwegian literature and music. The official visit will also, quote, celebrate the long history of strong ties and excellent relations between Norway and the United Kingdom. The UK is one of Norway's most important partners and its largest export market." End quote. The day began with Crown Prince Håkon attending the Norway and the UK business conference entitled A Strong Partnership for the Green Industrial Transition, held at the Royal Garden Hotel. During the conference, the Crown Prince witnessed the signing of a Memorandum of Understanding between the Norwegian Foreign Minister and the UK Secretary of State for Energy Security and Net Zero. Prior to noon, the Crown Prince joined the Crown Princess to attend a literary industry meeting for British booksellers, publishers, translators, and cultural journalists, held at the residence of the Norwegian Ambassador to the United Kingdom in Kensington. In her speech during the event, the Crown Princess said, quote, I am deeply grateful for all the author's gifts, to all of us, literature binds us together with the past, and the past across continents and different life experiences. Literature binds us to each other and to ourselves." End quote. Thereafter, the Crown Prince couple visited the Stockwell Skate Park in Brixton. In the evening, the Crown Prince couple attended a reception organized by the Norwegian Embassy and held at the Lindy Hall in London. Meanwhile, the Royal Highnesses Crown Prince Frederick and Crown Princess Mary of Denmark concluded their four-day official visit to India. On their final day, the Crown Prince couple was in Chennai, located in the southern state of Tamil Nadu. According to the Danish Royal Court, the state is, quote, where the majority of Danish investments have taken place over time, end quote. The day began with the Crown Prince accompanied by the Danish Foreign Minister and the Danish Minister of Climate and Energy visiting the Indian Institute of Technology Madras Research Park, where they participated in a symbolic groundbreaking ceremony. According to the Danish Royal Court, again, the IIT Madras is a, quote, public technical university that has great significance for companies related to renewable energy, both in terms of highly qualified labor and in the form of cooperation of high technical nature." End quote. Meanwhile, Crown Princess Mary visited the engineering company Larsen & Tubro. Established in 1938, L&T is one of India's largest companies with approximately 340,000 employees. During today's visit, the Crown Princess was informed about the daily operations of the company and was given a guided tour of the Henning Holak Larsen Museum. The museum presents the history of the company and its special connection with Denmark. Back at IIT Madras, the Crown Prince met with young entrepreneurs who work in the green transition sector. In the afternoon, the Crown Princess visited the main Grundfro's office in India, where she gave a speech during a seminar on, quote, water sector cooperation between Denmark and India, end quote. Thereafter, the Crown Prince couple attended a luncheon meeting with the governor of Tamil Nadu, Mr. R. N. Ravi. In the evening, the Crown Prince couple attended a Danish-Indian business promotional campaign reception held under the theme Denmark and Tamil Nadu, Partners for Sustainable Growth, held at the Grand Chola Chennai. The purpose of the reception was to, quote, celebrate Denmark's long-time engagement in Tamil Nadu, end quote as well as to celebrate the incredibly successful official working visit to India. After the reception, the Crown Prince couple attended the Grenfro's 25th anniversary in India dinner. In 
In Paris, their royal highnesses Prince Carl Philip and Princess Sophia of Sweden graced the cover of this week's edition of the French magazine Point de Vue. The image of the lovely couple was taken in 2019 by Swedish photographer Miss Linda Brostom. In Alicante, Their Majesties King Felipe VI and Queen Letizia of Spain presided over the presentation of the 2022 Premios Nacionales de Investigación and the 2022 Premios Nacionales de Investigación para Jóvenes, held at Casa Mediterráneo. According to a press release, the Premios Nacionales de Investigación, the National Research Awards, recognizes the achievements of Spanish researchers who are, quote, carrying out outstanding work in scientific fields of international relevance and who make an exceptional contribution to the advancements of science, to a better knowledge of human beings and their coexistence, to technology transfer and to human progress, end quote. The Premios Nacionales de Investigación para Jóvenes is aimed at highlighting the outstanding work and scientific contributions of Spanish researchers up to the age of 40. In the afternoon, His Majesty the King held an audience with the commander of the Supreme Allied Command in Europe, General Christopher G. Caboli, at Palacio de la Zazuela. In Brussels, His Majesty King Philippe of the Belgians held a luncheon meeting with the Vice President of the European Commission in charge of interinstitutional relations and forecasts, Mr. Marios Sakovic, at the Palais Royal. In Luxembourg City, Her Royal Highness Grand Duchess Maria Theresa of Luxembourg held an audience with the President of Lavoie des Survivors, Miss Anna Pinto, at the Palais Grand Ducal. Meanwhile, His Royal Highness Grand Duke Henri of Luxembourg held an audience with Belgian Luxembourgish astronaut, Mr. Raphael Lijois. Mr. Lijois is in Luxembourg City to participate in the launch of the competition entitled Astronaut for a Day. An initiative of the Luxembourg Space Agency, the goal of the competition is to promote a career in the space profession according to the Corps Grand Ducal. In Paris, Her Royal Highness Princess Alessandra of Hanover, Her Highness Hereditary Princess Cleo of Oettingen Spielberg, and Her Highness Princess Clotilde of Savoy attended the Christian Dior Fall Winter 2023-2024 pret porte Fashion Show yesterday at the Tuileries Gardens during the second day of Paris Fashion Week. In the St. Roman district of Monaco, their Serene Highnesses Prince Albert II and Princess Charlene of Monaco presided over the official inauguration of the Crèche du Testimonio Nursery School and Daycare Center. The center originally opened its doors on January 3, 2023. According to the Mairie de Monaco press release, the new 1,000-square-meter nursery and daycare center is a 13th facility in Monaco for children aged 0 to 3 years. Moreover, the center is for the children of the Monegas citizens and residents who live in the St. Roman and Larvodo districts in the Principality. Last evening in Monte Carlo, the Sovereign Prince inaugurated the Operational Center for Security Systems Information for Companies in the Principality. In Amman, his Royal Highness Crown Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II of Jordan visited the headquarters of the Progress Soft Corporation. During the meeting, the Crown Prince was briefed on the company's financial and real-time payout solutions. Established in 1989, Progress Soft provides advisory training and software services to, quote, banks and public and private financial and banking institutions, end quote. Today, the company employs more than 500 workers in its offices in Jordan, the United Arab Emirates, Oman, Kuwait, Qatar, and Nepal. In Muscat, His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq al-Sayyid of Oman, accompanied by his son, 
His Highness Saeed Bilirab bin Haytham al Saeed of Oman chaired a meeting with business persons and owners of small and medium enterprises at Al Alam Palace. In Doha, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad al Tahani, the Emir of Qatar, held a meeting with His Highness Sheikh Tahun bin Zayed al Nahyan of Abu Dhabi this afternoon. During the meeting, the two sides, quote, tackled the fraternal ties between the two countries and ways to develop them in various domains. They also reviewed a number of issues of mutual interest, end quote. In the morning in Doha, the Emir attended the 16th edition of the Education Excellence Day Award Ceremony held at the Sheraton Doha Hotel. During today's ceremony, the Emir presented the awards to, quote, 64 master's and Ph.D. graduate students and outstanding primary and preparatory school students, end quote. And finally, last evening in Vienna, His Serene Highness Prince Hans Adam II of Liechtenstein, accompanied by His Serene Highness Hereditary Prince Alos of Liechtenstein and Her Royal Highness Hereditary Princess Sophie of Liechtenstein, attended the gala opening of the exhibition entitled Cast for Eternity, the Bronzes of the Princes of Liechtenstein, held at the Palais Liechtenstein. As I mentioned in last evening's episode, the exhibition showcases hundreds of the most valuable bronze sculptures from the 15th to the 19th century, many of which are owned by the princely family of Liechtenstein, as well as other works that are on loan from the world's most important bronze collections. And there you have it. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will be back on Saturday, actually. I am taking a little mini vacation, but if I have time during my vacation, I will upload an episode, but I probably won't. But, but if I do, I will. Anyway, <laughs> have a wonderful evening, everyone, and a great day tomorrow. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, take care, everyone. I will see you all on Saturday without a doubt. Bye-bye.